Have you ever wanted a full windshield, but also wanted some airflow? Well, Super ATV's got you covered with our full vented windshield, and today I'm gonna to show you how to get one installed on this Kawasaki KRX. So the first thing you're gonna do is remove your windshield out of the box. If you are running a roof, you'll have to go ahead and remove the hardware in the front here just so you can lift it up enough. You're gonna slide your windshield into position just like we have ours, vent towards the top, just to make sure it's gonna fit. You're gonna be able to tell pretty quickly, you know, just by laying it up, looking at it, obviously it's gonna fit, our clamps are in the right location. So we're gonna go ahead and take our windshield off, lay it on the table, and remove the protective film from both sides. So the next thing we're gonna do, once we have our protective film removed, is we're gonna grab our bulb seal. We're gonna start right here on the top, about center. You know, it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, it just looks better if you get it pretty centered. We're gonna run it all the way around the windshield until it meets the other portion of the bulb seal. So next you're gonna grab your two clamps, remove the hardware from them, and then remove the grommets. Once you've got the grommets out, go ahead and remove the metal sleeve that's in the center of them. Just like that. And we're gonna apply them to this hole as well as this hole. Once you have the grommets in, go ahead and reinstall the steel sleeves. So next we're gonna grab our two clamps. We're gonna make sure that this side right here is facing like this downward, the longer flat. And we're just gonna kind of spread it out just a little bit. You don't wanna spread it out too much. And slide it right onto the cage, just like that, and then kind of rotate it back. And then and a, a good trick is to go ahead and line the holes up the best you can. It'll just make it easier for whenever you go to stick your hardware through. So kind of pinch it together like this, take a screwdriver, stick it through both holes, and kind of pull them down like that. So that way whenever you got to put them together, they line up. Just really bend it. You can almost get them to hook like that, and then just kind of split them a little bit. That way it'll still rotate and move around to where whatever location you need to move it to. Next, we're going to grab our windshield, slide our roof up, <clears throat> and install it just like this. Just kind of pick up on your roof a little bit. Then you want to center the windshield on the cage so that the bulb seal hits center on both sides. Just like that. Right there looks pretty centered. Looks good to me. And then, we'll go ahead and get our clamps positioned. We're gonna go ahead and grab the hardware out of the clamp, your screw, your washer, and your nut. Take the washer, put it on the screw, pick up on your roof, slide your screw through. And then just go ahead, angle your clamp where it needs to be, and start your nut. Then just repeat the same steps for the opposite side. Once you have your clamp hardware started, we're gonna go ahead and grab our cage clamps. We're gonna take our strap, feed it through the hole in the windshield, then feed it through the strap here. Once we fed it through the windshield, we'll fit it right through the windshield clamp. Pull the strap through a little bit, and then feed the clamp and the strap both at the same time. And just go ahead, strap it down as tight as you can get it. Then just repeat the steps for the rest of the three locations on the windshield. Now all you have to do is loosen your thumb screws and you can open and close your vented windshield. Go through, make sure your hardware is fully tightened, and that's how super quick and easy it is. Install Super ATV's full vented windshield on the Kawasaki KRX. For more information on this vented windshield or any of Super ATV's great products, feel free to give us a call at 855-743-3427 or check us out online at superatv.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.